Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can go about performing a sometimes overlooked maintenance task with your grills. We're going to be cleaning the interior um, components uh, of our outdoor grill. So we're cleaning the internal components of the grill here. So what I'm talking about is the, the heat deflectors that, that cover the burners, uh, the actual pan itself, uh, and then plus the interior uh, walls and sides of the grill. I find what, what works best for me is uh, I have an old uh, grill cleaning brush uh, where a lot of the bristles have, have worn down and it's in pretty bad shape uh, for actually cleaning the grill surface itself but it works really well for cleaning the heat deflectors. Um, I'm also going to be using a metal uh, scraper uh, to scrape off some of that uh, gunk that uh, adheres to the bottom of my pan and I'm also going to be vacuuming it out with a small one gallon shop vac. First thing I do when I get started is I I'll go ahead and remove my uh, cooking grills, uh, the actual cooking surface uh, of the grill. I move those out of the way uh, just to give me access to the uh, the internal parts of the grill, uh, most likely the, the heat deflectors uh, and the actual uh, drip pan itself. You'll probably notice these uh, heat deflectors are very prone um, to getting dirty, uh, whether it be uh, fat that drips onto these or marinade or whatever. Um, they're just a, a magnet uh, for built up crap. So it's important to uh, brush all this off because uh, if you don't brush this off, you can actually set your grill on fire, uh, which is never a good thing. After removing my cooking grills and my heat deflectors, uh, what I do is I come in with my uh, metal scraper and I'll just scrape up that uh, built up uh, gunk and crap uh, that's in my pan. And as I'm scraping this, I'm vacuuming it up with my shop vac. Now I don't have the benefit of a uh, removable uh, grease tray, so if you have a removable grease tray, uh, yeah, you're in good shape. Uh, you don't have to do this step. Uh, you can just take the, the tray out um, and then clean the actual tray itself, but in my case, uh, the, the tray is attached, so I have to do all of this internally. There you can see that cleans up pretty nice. Um, it's a bit discolored, uh, but any uh, standing grease or, or crap that's uh, in that pan uh, has essentially been all uh, vacuumed up. I'm going to then um, start cleaning my heat deflectors and I'm going to use my uh, my wire brush and just scrape all that uh, gunk and crap off these heat deflectors and I'm holding it right over um, into my pan uh, and as I do that uh, I'm going to go ahead and vacuum that out uh, once I've done these to all of the heat deflectors. Once my heat deflectors are uh, clean to my satisfaction I go ahead and re reinstall them back into my uh, grill and I'm going to replace my cooking grills and then we're pretty much ready to cook at this point uh, like I said at the beginning of the video we're not actually cleaning the the grill uh, cooking surface itself um, I often do that um, kind of separately uh, kind of ad hoc so there you have it we've performed an important task of uh, grill maintenance uh, keeping our grill safe um, to prevent fires. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like the video and share the video if you like. Um, also, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Those of you who have subscribed, though, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate it, and we'll catch you guys later.